go through each case individually. So in the case of given a course, given a faculty member, how many textbooks would they have? Well, it's zero to many because some faculty member may have nothing, some may have one, some may have, you could have a multiple um, textbooks for a course that you assign. So in that case, I put a P because M and N were taken, so I used P. But however, let's say we said you could only have one textbook, not more than one textbook, you weren't allowed to, then this would be a one. So given a course and given a faculty member teaching that course, if you were only allowed to have one, then you would have one. So you have to think about it that way. And that's the number, the letter we put here. But let, how do we know what to put here, let's say by course? Well, given a textbook and given a faculty member, can it be used for only one course or multiple courses? So in, in this scenario, I decided multiple courses because Programming 1 and Programming 2 can use the same textbook. So given a textbook, given a faculty member, I said it could be used for multiple courses. So that was why I have an M. Now, how did I decide to put an N here? Well, given a textbook, so think about it as each instance, given a, a textbook and given a course. So you have a course and you have a textbook. Well, many faculty teaching that course can use that same textbook. So I wrote many because it doesn't, it doesn't have to be only given a textbook and given a course. A number of us actually use the same database textbook. So um, this is how, how I look at it. We know this is ternary and they're all connected, course, faculty, and textbook. But the way to decide the cardinality is really look at each individually. And because there's it's not binary, you have to give do given the instance of, instead of saying each you know, faculty teach a course, it's each faculty using a textbook, um, you know, then, then it's like, oh, well, that could be used for to teach many courses. So given a course and a textbook, um, that can be taught by many faculty. So, so you have to just read them two together to get the third. So then you do the next two together to get the third. And this is um, hopefully a little bit helpful in explaining how you decide the different cardinality um, and the different letters to put.